At the end of this video, you will know which editing layout suits you the best in Fumora Toe. Keep watching! Hi everyone! This is Chloe from Wondershare Fumora here to empower your inner video creator. In Fumora Toe, we've added some new editing layouts for you, for you editors. editors. The different layouts can be used in different stages of editing. Or you can choose to use one layout from beginning to end as it fits your habit the most. Alright, let's check them out. If you haven't already downloaded Fumora 12, get started by going to fumorathewanashare.com or click the link in the description. Classic Layout The classic layout is the original layout we've had since earlier versions. We have the media and effects panel combined with the settings panel on the top left. The viewer is on the top right. You can adjust the display quality, in and out points, and other settings from this panel. The timeline panel is at the bottom, and you can use all the editing tools here. This layout has been with us for a long time, so if you want to, you can still keep using this layout at any stage of editing, just because you're used to it. Alright, let's move on to the new layouts. Default layout. The new default layout has a project info and settings panel on the right. When there's no content selected on the timeline, this panel will display the project info, including project name, project files location, resolution, and so on. With this panel, we can see this information directly without going anywhere else. Once you select any content on the timeline, the project info panel will turn into a settings panel. For example, when you select a video clip on the timeline, you will see the video, color, and speed settings showing in the panel. So you can adjust these settings directly. In the meantime, you will still be able to find the media and effects panel which allows you to add effects faster. This layout is more convenient if you have your footage assembled on the timeline. It's easier if you want to add or adjust effects while editing. Organized layout. In this layout, the media and effects panel is relatively bigger, so it's easier to organize media in the media folders. In this layout, the media and effects panel is relatively bigger, so it's easier to use this layout while organizing media in the media folders, such as creating folders and importing media files before starting editing. Another idea is that we can use this layout to help us while assembling the footage on the timeline for the first time. As the media panel and effects panel is bigger, it saves time when navigating and dragging and dropping from the media and effects panel. I use this layout to organize media, or when I start dragging the effects onto the timeline. Okay, let's go to the next layout. Timeline layout. The timeline layout helps us focus on the timeline. In this layout, the timeline is displayed fully so we can see the timeline better. I usually use this layout when I'm editing a much longer video. Short video layout. When editing a vertical video, it'll be great if we can see a bigger viewer window. So here comes the short video layout. In this layout, we maximize the vertical viewer on the right side of the window. This is very convenient if you want to have a better view of the vertical video while editing, especially when we are editing videos for TikTok, Instagram, or YouTube Shorts. Last but not least, let's talk about the door layout. Door layout. The door layout can be used when you have a second monitor. One of the monitors will be displaying the timeline and the media and effects panel, while the other monitor displays the viewer panel and the settings panel. With this layout, we can focus on editing from this monitor and adjusting from this monitor. I would highly recommend the dual layout to you if you have two monitors. Alright, those are the newly added layouts in Filmora 12. Which one do you prefer while editing? Let us know in the comments! Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for new videos on the channel. Keep creating and see you next time!